we didn't expect, you know, to to chart where we did. You know, we thought maybe we'd chart down way down at the bottom yeah, you know, and climb and build up, up yeah. kind of like we did with the first record. So to be in the top ten right away was something we really didn't think was was going to be that accessible or, <laughs> or that accepted. You know, <clears throat> it was really a, a shock. Well, by the end of Facelift, though, actually, I mean. Yeah, I actually had some pretty good hopes for the album, you know, but but you know, definitely surpassed what we even thought. But just to, just for the fact alone that that facelift did what it did, even though it took a long time to do it, which was cool, you know, it was totally cool the way it happened. I figured all those people would be there, you know. I mean, the people who bought the album and didn't return it, which you know, fortunately was not too many people. Um, I figured they'd be there for the next listen, you know. <laughs> for the next listen, you know, and and they were, you know, so we expected that to happen, but boy, not not the fucking way it did. It's pretty cool. It's kind of kind of amazing sometimes, you know. It's like in three months we've done we've done what it took us like sixteen months to do the last time, you know. It's it's pretty wild. It's a it's a set, you know. It's a it's a space. People will get different attitudes of, uh, about you if you are something in their head, you know, as far as like if you achieve something or you're looked at upon as being like you know this I don't know this thing I don't know um, people's perception of what you might how you might have changed you know makes them react a certain way when they approach you you know before you know they've had a chance to see whether or not you've changed they're just assuming you have and so they nah. you know might come at you with a different different attitude and that's sometimes awkward awkward but it doesn't happen too often, really. Yeah, not too often. With people who who are friends and who are close. These attitudes change, I think. You know, in relationship to how well a band does or whatever. You know, I mean, those are people usually you don't really know anyway. <laughs> you know, the people that really mean the most to your friends and your family and stuff. You know, they might be a little more. You know, they're more excited now than they were when you're playing in a band before, and they're like, "Get a job," you know. <laughs> but, <laughs> but but still, you know, they're they're always behind you, and they're they're nobody's you know full of shit. You know, when somebody's full of shit and kissing your ass, and that's something that we've never really been big on. You know, doing that to anybody or have it happen to us. I don't think it's affected us. You know, in the way of thinking that we're king shit <laughs> or anything. You know, or definitely that not that way. You know, I. I th think of us as exactly you know the same guys as when we started but you know here it's gonna it's it's just gonna be a little tougher because people are unfamiliar but that's good i mean yeah. you know it, it gives us the incentive to go out and really bust our ass and work for it